What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What Are They Cooking? We got some spicy new replays sent in by the audience today. Uh, and if you're an audience member and you want to send in a replay, you can do it in the Discord in the description. Just put it in the Edison Format Replays channel. Now, starting off here, we have a deck that I have frankly never seen before, which is, uh, I guess, not too uncommon on this segment. But still, it's always fun uh, to see what's up. So, we got... Dark Voltanis Turbo. I'm going to have to read this card real quick. After one counter, tra counter trap you control has been activated, you can tribute one dark special summon from your hand and then destroy one card on the field. Dang. Why does it require you to tribute one dark? Why can't it just like drop itself like Vandalgian? Oh man, that would be so good. Uh, So we're playing Sky Blast. Oh, I guess this gives us tribute fodder. Kind of funny. It also gives us Cyber Valley fodder, which we could use to draw two cards here. Are we going to do that? Does this thing let you summon them in either attack or defense? Apparently it does. All right, that's kind of cool. So we're going to banish to draw two. We draw into Survivor. Um, I don't know why we didn't just drop off them there. I guess it doesn't tremendously matter. We could have Voltanus. I, I guess there's no reason to do it because their field was empty, so you don't want to drop Dark Voltanus there. Now they have Lad out, though. Okay, well, we can just out this with one Caius. And they don't really have anything great to get. We're not even going to hit over their guy. They're just going to Treeborn kill it. Okay. Now they go summon Ryza. Oh, unfortunately, we can't stop that. So the Caius is going to the top. But we can drop it again with the Prodigy. No, we're not doing that. We're just going to summon Survivor. We bribe the Regeki break. So now we're going to get over the Lad. But the Lad can just bring back whatever. Um, I guess it can't bring back the Ryza because it has to target beforehand, I think. But it's going to bring back the Sub, which is basically worse actually because now they're going to get a full like sub combo we resolve the drop off oh i see so we can resolve drop off and then drop dark voltanus and then kill the sub and then stop that from happening all right that's pretty good then that is pretty good so we tribute the survivor and now we don't have to worry about the opponent taking 10 billion years to summon their entire deck we summon another sky blaster all right so we're just going to clear everything hit over the dupe and then the dupe gets the swap and then we set another drop off. No, we're just gonna, hmm, we're just gonna let them have their draw phase here. I don't know. Maybe she'll just like drop off at this point. They're going to get to do their whole sub thing anyway. Uh, they do kind of greet it, but Caius would out the dupe block anyway. And I think they're going to go super low here. They draw Regeki Break and they just scoop because they can't possibly survive another turn. Um, all right, on to game number two. That was cool. I mean, the Voltanis to disrupt. The substitute was actually pretty like important there. It was actually very nice. So I don't know why we're also on this macro thing though. Um, I guess we're not playing Helios either. Uh, we just flip up macro. Maybe we sided that in. To be fair, maybe it's like a we brought it in because frogs. I guess we Caius a Treeborn. So it's pretty good because we have another Caius. So if we Caius their other Treeborn, Treeborn is just gone. Uh, they're gonna Phoenix Wing pitching Dandy um oh they chained to the defigure okay i was confused for a second there all right so we summon out the survivor survivor's gonna get soul exed but it's just gonna come back um oh actually it gets negated in end phase so it's because of the lad all right so how do we out this we could have just out it with cyber valley why didn't we do that i guess maybe we, we want to leave it so that they can't do what i don't know actually maybe we should have just outed it with cyber valley Actually, why are we still not outing it with Cyber Valley? That is weird. Maybe they I, they must just not know that you can do that? I can't think of a reason not to just summon the Cyber Valley and spam the, what is it, the second effect? Yeah, it's the second effect. You can just do it infinitely, so long as you have a card in your hand. And then the, the lad will just lose all of its charges. Um, so Punska summon a Vanity's Fiend here. And we, yeah, we actually... I think we lose that game because we didn't know the trick with Cyber Valley versus Light and Darkness Dragon. It's not good. That's a, that's a rough one. All right, we're going to use Fires of Doomsday. And we're going to summon the Caius. All right, Die Fire on the field is nice, but this Gores, man. This Gores is... Ooh, that's scary. We don't have a lot of ways of dealing with that. Uh, we drop off. All right, no more Vanny's Fiend. We Dark Voltanus. <laughs> God, that's so cool. So we can just, like, use Drop Off and then Voltanus out something. They do still have a token. They can just, like... Oh! They chain Econ to Dark Voltanus and take the Dark Voltanus. Oh my god, that's so good. All right, we do bribe them, but Caius still answers our whole board. So uh, yeah, Caius could crash with Caius, set Phoenix Wing, and then pass. They draw Heavy Storm. That's so good. 
because uh, they need an out to the uh, to the thing. Sky Blaster going to be summoned, so now we got a lot of tokens to work with. So uh, we have a lot of ways of spamming the tokens here, don't we? Uh, just to like enable Dark Voltanis, but I guess it also enables the other stuff like the Kaius and the Plasma we're apparently playing. They Phoenix Wing on the Sky Blaster, and then they activate Storm, and then they set. Uh, they go for Plasma. Is this lethal? How much is this? The tokens are 500? So it's what? 15? Yeah, yeah, this is lethal. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We done it with Dark Voltanus Turbo. Very interesting. The Voltanus was good. Like, both times it went off. Very good. Next match we got, I pulled this one because uh, it's the Exodius deck, and uh, this is a, it's a build I used to play um on the channel i don't know like a year ago maybe probably around then yeah it was a lot of fun but uh i ultimately didn't end up really keeping it because it was just a little bit too too wacky but it does some cool stuff which we'll hopefully see in this game once again up against the light and darkness dragon frogs um apparently this deck's ever what is it? star blast you're playing star blast all right we just concede to the lad interesting what is oh they're on lad and christy i see so this is some spice then it's not just ronox build again uh all right so we're gonna have a swap send treeborn we're just gonna pass and discard vanity's fiend i mean it's pretty clear we have gores right you might as well just drop the thing before they summon lad and like invalidate it are they going to creature swap no they're just they're actually gonna set star blast i all right it's a good thing we typhooned that. We're going to see the first Exodius come down, and we're going to start to see uh, what, like, the main things that this does in the deck. Uh, are we sending Wolf? We are sending Wolf, so that's something cool you can do. You can also send Dandelion and get tokens and do things with the tokens. Um, so Exodius is pretty neat. It has an effect where it it's basically Foolish Burial when you attack. That's essentially the whole point. It's just like a guy you drop, and then you can attack and Foolish Burial something. So, I mean, it's cool. Dude, why do you keep setting cards? All right, well, you die now. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Go into game number two. Let's see. We open Crow. Crow is cool because it just gets Exodius live immediately. Because you have to have a monster in Graveyard to summon Exodius. Um, so that's definitely neat. Speaking of monsters in Graveyard, we put some immediately with the Solar Recharge. Drop the Exodius. Send a Wolf. And uh, I guess we can just Crow this Treeborn Frog. I don't know why they brought in Soul Release, actually. Maybe they thought it was just regular Light Sworn. Did they not see the Exodius in game? No, they saw it. Maybe they just, like, didn't know. Yeah, like, we don't fill up our graveyard in here. In fact, like, we're constantly unfilling up our grave. Oh, no, we get hit with the Hinokage Tsuchi. <laughs> well, there goes our whole hand. At least we get some dandy tokens. So, uh, it's consolation prize. We attack with the wolf. Um, opponent's going to set an Econ. Are we going to Typhoon it? No, we're just going to keep hitting set Typhoon. All right. They kind of need to do a thing with the, this frog deck. Soul Release is going to be used, but it just like doesn't matter because we don't care. We're, we're not playing regular Light Sworn. Uh, and we actually just have Lethal. We just have Lethal with Summon Kai's attack for game. Yeah, that was interesting. I would, I would like to see this frog build. They're on Christia and Lad and Hino Kagatsuchi. They're like trade-in frogs or something. Neat. As it happens, we actually do have a replay of the guy playing the the trade-in frog deck so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um get a look at his perspective playing against some kind of spellcaster oh, arcanite assault mode abomination presumably um so we're gonna storm the endymion or the is that what this thing yeah citadel of endymion yeah i, I was right on that read by the way arcanite assault mode <laughs> what does arcanite assault mode do again it's just like a super giga Arcanite Magician or something. Yeah, uh, you remove two spell counters, destroy all cards the opponent controls, and then it's like 2,900 with the two spell counters. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have an Exemplar summoned to the field here. Bring out Musician King. Going to try to revive out that Arcanite to make a synchro play, but there's an Econ. Going to steal the Arcane Apprentice. Emergency Teleport, though, going to be used. We can make a good old regular Arcanite Magician activate Spell Power Grasp to put two more spell counters. So this is one a large Arcanite Magician. He's going to pop one of our guys, pop two of our guys, and then attack for 34. It's a 3,400 attack Arcanite Magician. Dang. All right. 
Uh, we're just gonna Caius the Arcanite. Yeah, this is rough. This is rough indeed. Could we... What does this thing do if you control target one monster? Tribute, special sun, then destroy. Unfortunately, we don't have a spellcaster in our hand, so that card's kind of useless. Did we draw Oracle of the Sun? Card's also kind of useless. Uh, one for one, gonna let us do sub things in main two, but we're just not... Are we out of... Wait, why didn't we? Why did we just one for one leave the sub there? I don't know. All right, well, we're going to summon Hino, Hino Kagatsuchi. Presumably, the opponent will just scoop because that rips their entire hand. Yeah, uh, hard to see how they play from there. Just set the guy. We're going to attack with Caius, and we draw another Christia. It's not too helpful. We're going to set Battle Fader. They draw into Exemplar, and they scoop it up. Okay, next up, we have another deck that I've played on the channel before, but only like one time. Uh, and it was pretty cool, so I decided it would be cool to showcase it again, which is Flambell Dragons. Basically, um, you could use Decoy Dragon, or also I think Dragonov, Flamvel Dragonov is legal. It's got like better stats, but it doesn't have the effect of Decoy Dragon where you basically can't attack it. So I don't know. It's it's not really important which one you play. They're both just like a level two rekindling target that you have like as a one-off searchable thing for your for your big rekindling plays. So it's a neat build. Um, let's see, we're going to go for the Raikou Summoner Monk. That'll get us a Flamvel from the deck. So then we can go into a Goyo, activate Rekindling. Oh, also, it's a Rekindling target that you can just banish for Red Med, um, which is, yeah, pretty funny. Uh, so you can see here, you can go absolutely wild in this deck with your Rekindling plays, and apparently this guy just submitted a best of one. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Stop doing that. All right, final replay we've got is hopefully a pretty good one. We have Limit Reverse Turbo versus... Um, pac-man and this is high rated mind you or i don't know what passes for high rated but this guy's over a thousand how do you get over a thousand with pac-man truly the latter is a is a mysterious place so it looks like we're playing probably some kind of dark samorg thing oh we're on the magic planter too all right that's pretty neat i've experimented with some limit reverse magic planter fiendish chain type of shenanigans didn't really like it a whole lot but you know i tried it out we should be getting absolutely obliterated here by this morphing jar, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we have Fiendish, though. It's fine. A dust Shoot going to go off. They're going to take away the Dandelion, which low-key destroys our entire hand. What do we do here? We go for Rota Armageddon Knight. Uh, Armageddon Knight going to send Plague. We're going to... We're on Armageddon Knight and Plague? Huh. I guess Armageddon Knight can send, like, Sangan, which is a liver reverse target. That's kind of neat. We're we going to go for the Black Rose. That is definitely a ballsy play. It will not work because there is a Starlight Road. We're just going to set Dust Shoot. It gets Typhoon. Uh, they flip some Golem Sentry. <laughs> We're out here playing Golem Sentry at Edison format, man. What is going on? All right. Debris. We going to get Mirror Forced here? No. We're going to go for the draw. We draw into Magic Planter, get two more draws, and we have some actual defense here. We're going to Fiendish Chain the Swarm of Scarabs. They put it back with Golem Sentry. They try to flip down the Swarm of Scarabs, but that is not going to work, because it's under Fiendish Chain. So... Let's see, we go for Avarice. They're not going to Judgment. Man, Solemn, Solemn Mirror Force. That's a lot to play into. I don't know how we're going to do it. Okay, we can go Quick Draw Caius, but our Caius is just going to get Solemned. Yeah, that's uh, that's rough. We can set Torrential, and we can kind of cope with Phoenix Wing, put back the Stardust maybe. We kind of have to, or we're going to die. No, they just don't even attack with the Stardust. We still put it back with Phoenix Wing, though. What do we do? We don't normal summon. We go for Torrential. They have another road, and then we scoop it up. All right. That was an interesting game, number one. Let's see if we can pull it back. <laughs> Noted that we are on Bizer Shock, by the way. I think this is the second guy who's submitted a replay with Bizer Shock. Uh, the other deck also was playing some kind of limit reverse shenanigans, which is, I mean, it's cool. It's, it, like, bounces all set cards, including set monsters, which is funny. We're under Scrap Iron Scarecrow now. Really, uh, just some legendary... Legendary stuff going on here. All right, we go for Giant Trunade. Are we going to tribute some of this? Oh, no. How do they play? They can't do shit. They can't... They, no, they can't set anything. They can't do any... The, <laughs> some more just solo the man. Oh, that's the, that's the funniest way for a Pac-Man player to lose on ladder. Imagine you're just, like, on ladder. Playing freaking Swarm of Scarabs. And your opponent... Giant Trunades, and then summons Dark Simorg. 
What a what an oh this could also send Bizer Shock. Yo, we're gonna true nade back the Bizer Shock. Unfortunately, they're gonna be able to stop that. All right, we just need to find another limit reverse though, and then we can cook with the 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 Bizer Shock into some more combo. Uh, let's see, we got charge. No, we can't. We need to find a way to bring out the Bizer Shock, man. We'll just like win the game on the spot. All right, we dropped some more. It eats a bottomless, but we got another one. Uh, so we're gonna Typhoon the Garden. We get bribed. We're gonna Raikou the Garden. We're gonna summon Caius. Hit a back row. Nope, we get judgmented. We're bringing out some more. <laughs> and they scoop. <laughs> Dude, Samorg is just an, it's an FTK. How do they deal with it? <laughs> oh, poor opponent. Admittedly, my attempts at limb reverse didn't play Bizer Shock or Dark Samorg, so maybe I should have done that. I don't know wild absolutely wild so that is the uh the final replay that we have for today as always i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought in the comment section i'll see you next time as always be sure to like comment and subscribe furthermore if you enjoy my content you should think about becoming a channel member you get access to tons of bonus content and it's a great way to help support the channel